this is High Density Spalier Gardener, and this is an update on my garden. I am moving. I have sold my home, and the buyers uh, took a look at all the trees and apparently have decided they don't have any kind of a green thumb, so they only chose to keep three trees, and I'll show you them as I go. I'm making this video to show how heavily back I pruned everything in order to get the stuff ready to transplant and take to my new house. Um, you'll see in a minute that I had burlapped uh, some of the trees with a root ball. But first of all, that's just a crap load of work and uh, I don't want to do it. <laughs> so I changed my mind and I'm putting everything in pots, which actually makes more sense for what I'm trying to accomplish because they're going to be uh, there's going to be a space of time between when I have to uh, leave this house and when I'm able to move into a new house. And it, just being in the little planters is much more uh, convenient and effective, I think, to being able to keep them uh, alive for a while, for one, but um, in good order. Anyway, You'll see, I cut back all of the figs and I, could, I cut everything back at about uh, three weeks ago and I've had a crazy amount of growth on, on these things. I did leave some of the little branches on some of the pears, but the majority of the growth on these is all in the last Maybe, maybe three weeks and so that's what I mean I'm taking them out and putting them in buckets not buckets um, the planters plastic planters I did not prune back my apples very much but they are pruned back they're all cut down to maybe five feet and um, you can see even though I've taken off all of the wires and the posts, you see, they're all back there, um, that it's still stayed in a, an espalier uh, position or format. <laughs> they decided to keep the Haas avocado. It's about seven feet high and has a, a lot of little avocados, but since they're green and same colors, the leaves are hard to see, but Pretty good size. They decided not to keep my smaller avocado, the Zutano, so I'm taking that. And that's about three weeks worth of growth. Same back here. my persimmons and my huge crab apple over in the corner. My mango looks so sad because it has all new, new uh, sprouts coming out, but it was, it was doing really well. Same with my guavas. I left this one with some branching right in here because it had a lot of flowers and so I figure at least maybe I'll get some fruit out of it. My pineapple guava, I still have not had any fruit set. I watched some videos and they said that you uh, sometimes have to manually pollinate them. So I've come over and they showed using like a paintbrush or whatever. I did that but I've also just just pinch it together, causing the pollen to spread out there. So hopefully that I'll start to get some fruit out of it. My cherries, heavily pruned back. Pomegranates. Everything's coming back and then I'll, I'll uh, work on them as the branches come out. But, and this is to show 
Again, the preparations that I made for transplanting all of my trees to the new house. There. And also to let you guys know that I'm going to take a look to see, can I replicate what I did here at the new house? So we'll see how it goes. This is an example of the um, planters where I'm putting them. And you can see, I took them out of the burlap over here. I just did it, put it into the planters and see how it goes. Got a really nice deal on all of those big ones. Actually, all of the planters that I got are $10 at Home Depot. Really, <laughs> really good deal. They decided to keep my Eureka lemon, and it's grown out quite heavily because it's fruiting. Um, and usually what I do is I'll let it grow out, give the fruit, and then I prune it back. But this is really, is an example, really heavily fruiting right now, so I'm not gonna prune it. And anyway, they decided to keep it, so that's how it's gonna stay. They also decided to keep my Mexican lime. This one has a lot of little fruit. They're really tiny, so they're hard to see, but there's a lot of fruit on there. So I didn't prune that back, but you can see. It's, both of them really are still in the pretty flat, um, mostly two dimensions. And then, the rest of my citrus, my pump, my um, grapefruits, and my bear lemon. Uh, oh, my uh, Brazilian papaya. I don't have a clue if this one's going to work to be able to transplant, but I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens with that. Anyway. Um, all of my other tropicals, the um, cherry moyas and atamoyas, and the red custard apple, and then my, uh, I'm, I'm actually going to try something with my lychee and my longan. I pruned them back to thin them out, but I'm not going to top them off yet. Uh, or take them down to basically uh, tall stumps like I did everything else because these take forever to grow so I'm gonna leave them like that and just see how it goes some of you might think oh well I didn't have to put them back as heavily as I did but um, I I want these to survive the fact that I'm cutting off some of the roots um, to transplant them. These are like eight feet high by now. And most of the branches that were down four to five feet high that I had espaliered, I ended up you know, cutting off for this purposes. Now this one is probably the saddest for me. I had uh, six bananas that were already with fruit and they decided they didn't want any of them. So I've, I've uh, dug out pups, uh, uh, some of these. I'll show you guys those in a minute, but I'm gonna have to dig all of these out and remove the, the bananas because they didn't want any of them. My uh, loqua and my apricots here. Oh, and I got a ruby red grapefruit here. Um, haven't, uh, I, I got it just before I, I uh, decided to sell the house, so I decided to go ahead and leave it in the pot. And I got a Lisbon lemon, same thing. I got them both at the same time. So, already in the pot, ready to take. Now, 
These are going to be a different story. My plums and my peaches and nectarines, I have not pruned back yet. Everything is has grown out really heavily uh, and is comp uh, fruiting a lot. So I just decided to go ahead and not prune these back yet. You can see the peaches really uh, heavily fruit set. The uh, nectarines, really delicious nectarines. We've been harvesting them. So once we finish harvesting the nectarines, then I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll prune that back. But here's an example. These are my plums. All the plums are with a lot of fruit. I just decided to go ahead and give them a shot and let them let them uh, continue. So you can see a lot of fruit up in there. Anyway, the these I'll prune back much later. Another one that I'm not going to prune for the trans transplant is my haboticaba. Haboticaba. It is now probably 12 years old and these things take forever to give fruit. Um, usually sometime between 12 to 15 years before they give fruit and I'm just at the stage where it's 12 years old here. So I'm going to try to take it out just as it is without uh, pruning it back at all. It's, uh, it's nearly fruiting and I want it to continue. It might take an extra year because of the trauma of uh, being transplanted, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, um, once I do move and I take all of my trees and I organize everything, or when I, as I'm going through the process of organizing everything over there, I'll make update videos to show exactly what it is I'm doing with the new garden. If you have any comments or questions, please post them and I will respond as soon as I can. Sorry that it's been taking so long to respond lately. I've just been crazy busy with all of the things that are going on.